Brown is live in Rockland with all those details. Hey, Camby. Even being outside this morning, it's a reminder that there'll be kids who are either walking to regional transit, walking to a bus stop to be able to go to school, and we want to make sure that they are warm. This is just the beginning of those cooler temperatures. And I was saying, you know, we do take for granted that you get the chance to be able to go out and pick a coat, and the more choices that they have, the better. And so we want to make sure that we are helping take care of our community. Now, Keith, you're with the Gathering Inn. For people who are not familiar with the Gathering Inn, what do you guys do for our community? Uh, the Gathering Inn is the preeminent emergency housing program in Placer County. So we serve the homeless and provide emergency housing and shelter for them. Now we're talking um, all ages of kids and we actually have some um, coats that have already been delivered, which PCAR is working on right now, uh, sorting those out. But you guys get a lot of kids too who come to your facility who need a coat. What is that like when you see them and the and the parents feel like they, they can't provide that for them? Yeah, we serve over 900 men, women and children every year at the gathering in and it is very difficult, you know, with the kids and in and, and the winter and you sit so hard, it got so cold lately. So this is just an amazing thing that Placer uh, Association Realtors does. Yeah, them. I'm glad that they started so early so that we can be able to have these coats ready for all the families that will need them. So, Dana, you guys have done this year after year and every year we see more and more coats uh, come, coming in. How do you think the community rallies together? Why do you think this is so important for them to do this? Well, ultimately, we are a very family-oriented um, area with Rockland, Roseville, all the areas. We have lots of families. And just thinking about your own child going to school and not having either a backpack, a coat, or something, supplies that you need. So the families are extremely generous, as you can see. We have already, I don't know, we, we have close to, what, 200 coats already? I think our goal is like 500. Yeah, and you guys so, usually exceed that goal because yeah. uh, this community is so generous and wants to take care of people. They can be brand new. They can be slightly used. Yeah. Uh, we want to make sure that it's something that you would still want to wear mm -hmm. so that um, other people will want to wear them as well. If people are watching, how long do they have to be able to donate? What are you guys looking for and where can they donate to you guys? Uh, you can bring it here to um, Placer County Association of Realtors. We're in on off of Sunset and Rockland, and or just drop them off at uh, local real estate organizations um, in your area, <clears throat> and they'll get them to the Placer Association. And we have until October 18th to get the coats in, and I think we'll exceed our goal this year. We've done pretty well so far, and this year with gathering in and, and some of our other. Um, associations that we're working with acres of hope child advocates of placer county and stand at placer we are donating to all of the above and so we're sharing with everyone that we possibly can now, are you waiting until october 18th to drop these off or you're sending them out as soon as you're getting them no we're going to gather them all and then we're going to deliver them we want to make sure they're all clean and ready to go for the kids to put on okay perfect so you do have a few weeks uh, to be able to donate well 17 days exactly it's easy for me to figure that out because it's october 1st make sure you're looking through your closet and seeing <laughs> if those coats still fit that does make it good point great mm -hmm. great mm -hmm. job thanks canby